special freeze team event today. Um, we've got the chair, this baby right here from Secret Lab. Uh, took a little doing because I live in Thailand, and we ordered this chair through the um, through the Singapore store. They were quite helpful. Uh, so I had to do a little custom order, but they sent me over the information. I was able to pay direct through my bank account, or through, uh, actually I used TransferWise, uh, which worked great to send them the money. They shipped it out. I got it in a couple days. It's actually been sitting here for two days, uh, as opposed to me sitting on it. I've been using this, thanks to my wife, number one, here for these pillows. They've saved me for uh, the last God knows how long I've tolerated it. The other chair broke. I've been using this baby, so this is what we're competing against. A nice wooden chair. Not so bad, actually. Uh, <laughs> as bad as you think. With the pillow, the wife made me, it's not so bad. So, let's get on with it. Let's open this bad boy up. Secret Lab uh, Soft Weave Cookies and Cream is the one that I wanted. I wanted the Soft Weave because, well, again, I live in Thailand. You might be able to hear some of the... Uh, AC noise in the background. AC is pretty much a given in Thailand. And I didn't think I wanted my chair to be sticky, so I opted for this version. So, anyway, without further ado, let's crack the seal on this bad boy and see what's inside. I watched the video briefly uh, on how to assemble, and I've got it up on the screen over here. So, I'm using my Plantronics. Uh, Plantronics uh, headset, thanks to Scott Fleck at uh, Little Caesars for that, by the way. Uh, not to mention a bazillion other things. I worked for Little Caesars for a while, and it was awesome as a software architect. But no coding today. Just going to get this chair so we can code better. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got here. So open the box up. Welcome home to comfort, this thing here says. I'm assuming that that's some sort of warranty or something. We're not going to open that right now. Throw that over here on the desk. Uh, I've got my pillows down here because uh, I'm going to be on my knees a bit, I guess. And let's see what we got. Package contents. Let's throw this box back a little bit. Give myself some room. Throw that down there so I can read it. Uh, whip this bad boy back here. They actually show you using this little pad on the videos. We're going to try it and pull out the seat. This bad boy is not small. So it's the Titan, Titan Soft Weave Cookies and Cream. Let's see how fast we can get this thing. I guess I've got plenty of this stuff to, to use. Maybe I could use that as a knee pad too. But anyway, throw that down there, and I have a pillow comes with it. We're going to get all the stuff out and then take the box outside, I think is probably the wise thing to do. Okay, so we can see, we can see what I'm doing here. It looks pretty decent anyway. All right, so this here is the bottom piece for that guy. I'm just going to set it there. Uh, here's the... You need the casters to go in that little guy for the wheels. Standard five prong wheel so you don't fall over. And then uh, this part might be a little tricky to get out, but they show on the video to grasp, grasp underneath. So let's see if I can get this out of here. This is the bottom part of the chair. It says don't grab those things back there. So I don't think this is going to be too hard. And I'm going to pull this out there. Alright. There's that. Now all we got left in here is some styrofoam and a cool box that my daughter can play in. I'm sure she'll come up with some ingenious thing to do with that. Let me get the box out of here now. Okay. The box goes bye-bye. Close the door. Keep the AC in. All right. So, watching the video. Let's just scroll over here real quick. 
and push play on that bad boy. I've got the audio off. You guys can continue to listen to a little Brain FM in the background. Give them some props. Uh, all right, so take the thing out. I've got the directions on there. Pull them out by the side. Okay, so the box. Yeah, pull that guy out. I've got them all out. Right now. Yeah. Move him over. Okay, I've got him over here. Fine. So, first things first, I guess, is to take the casters out and put them on the the wheels. Or put the wheels on the whatever the heck the mount thing is. Then push firmly. Once five casters are all successfully installed, flip the thing over. Okay. Pause. I think we could do that without too much trouble. Right? I didn't lay mine out as neatly as those guys did, but sue me. All right, so got a razor blade here somewhere, or a utility knife, and let's cut this bad boy out of here. So I've gone without a chair for a while. This guy, I'm hoping, uh, Ed from Blazer State has changed. Telerik, Ed Charbonneau, is the one that recommended uh, this chair. All right, so there is that. Let's see where we can get this bad boy out of here. Open up this box and. Maybe open up the box. There we go. And it shows me the contents. So I guess I've got an Allen wrench in here as well. But the casters should just pop in, I'm guessing. There's one. Yeah, that's not too tough, right? And it's not like they're going to fall out because you're going to be sitting on it. But they do have a little groove to where they pop into, and I'm sure if I don't have them all the way in when I sit on it, they will be. This is a pretty big chair. I'm six foot tall. I think I was 81 kilos this morning, which 81 kilos in pounds would be 2.2, right? So multiply by 2 would be 162, add 10%, would be 16. So what does that make me? 178, 180, somewhere in there. Close enough. A little bit more than I need to be, but not much. I just need to move it around. Working on that too. Okay, so now, after all five are inserted, flip the bad boy over, and there we go. Pretty wide chair. I've got plenty of room, and everything in Thailand is normally tile. It's awesome as far as uh, concept. No carpets, just mostly tile. Uh, it's never cold. Well, I shouldn't say never cold. Got down to 62 last on a couple years ago for my actually close to my wedding. Had some friends over. It was the coldest I've ever seen in Thailand. I've been here for two years now. All right, so I'm gonna take some more plastic stuff off. Pretty sure I'm not gonna need that. And then we're gonna fire this video back up and see what I'm gonna do next. All right, good look at the step by step guide, right? Takes everything out, put in number two. Number three is to put up the, the hydraulic piston, which is in this box. Also, I'm guessing in here, has this guy in it, and the piston should go up. So, wow, that was tough. This little guy here, I'm guessing, goes over the top. So when the thing goes up and down, you can't get your fingers in anything or whatever. Just a little cover, make it look nice. All right, throw that down in there. Now, step number four is the is the back. Remove the four M8 screws that are pre-installed into the backrest using the Allen key. Not the Joe key, but the Allen key. All right, this is nice little sealed package here. Actually has a seal on it, like we're going to eat it or something, but it gives you a little extra confidence that 
you know, it's not been tampered with, I guess. Or not since it left the shop. Okay, so here we go. Take this plastic out here. Ah, looks pretty nice, right? What do you think of that? Looks decent. All right, so now we're going to get this baby done. Got to get out of there. Allen screw. Allen screw. Oh, hold on. I need a pillow. Uh, let's see. Allen wrench. I guess it's going to be in this little guy here. I've got a whole toolkit over there in case it's not, but let's use what they gave me. And, yep, Allen wrench is included. AC just kicked off. Get a little bit of reprieve of noise. Uh, two little staples inside this thing, or two big staples actually. So, getting that out. Okay, there we go. And Allen wrench is in, so we're going to remove these according to this step. Remove them, I'm assuming, then we'll put it back in on the rest over there. Okay. Uh, use the Allen wrench. They're not really tight, so I can pull them out with fingers. Easy enough. Okay, almost out of that one. Let's see if I can pull them out over here. Yeah, no Allen wrench needed yet. Okay, so I'm going to unscrew them as far as I can without removing them. And then we we'll read the directions here. It says, says what? Uh, remove the four M8. Align the bracket with the with the back. Align the backrest with the bracket on the right side of the chair. Attach the backrest using the M8 screws. Like you couldn't have guessed that one, right? So good. But that means we can get this guy out of some plastic bubble wrap good here keeping things tidy not scratched up so the box had a few dings on the outside but notice the packing was done well so no damage that I can see on the inside this here part they tell you to be careful uh, ah, here we go that's the tape tape back here so let me this guy out. If nobody else cares about watching me unpack my cool chair, then we can uh, at least let Secret Labs get a uh, real life view of what the guy goes through, right? Why not? So I do stream on Wednesdays normally. So today is Saturday. So nobody's going to be tuning in thinking we're going to be doing some Blazor code <coughs> or any sharp code. So I do a little bit of that on Wednesdays. If anybody does want to tune in, and mostly Blazor, almost all C sharp. Occasionally, well, so far all C sharp. There hasn't been any uh, JavaScript other than tiny little wiring ups. Uh, Mr. Magoo's solution to a problem the other day. Okay, so I'm looking at the way this is attached on the bottom. An interesting little rivet, but it looks pretty pretty sturdy to keep the fabric keep the fabric tight. So I like that. That's good. All right, do not remove this strap until the bracket has been securely installed. That's probably in case these things flip down. Well, you can't get to the handle over there. They're trying to tell you don't release the handle, idiot before you put it on because it's going to be hard. Although, that could accidentally happen, so I shouldn't say idiot. Uh, okay. So I moved that over. Good. Now, this guy is going to have to align. Something hanging off the end down there. Isn't it? I don't know what that is. Oh, just a little booklet of some sort. Uh, what is it? 
soft weave. It's a little thing just tell me about the soft weave. It's great. But I don't think I want it on there. It'll fit on there with no issue anyway. So now I've got this ready lined up. I'm going to remove the bolt the rest of the way. And same with this guy. And I don't lose the washer. Lock washer on first. Regular washer on top of that. Okay. Do the same on the other side. All right. So now I think it makes sense if you just align those back in there and stick them back in the hole. I believe. Bolt's pretty big. All right, let's see. I got one aligned and started. Number two. Aligned. Seems good. Started. Let's go over here and do these side. Better to typically put them all in and get them aligned and started before you tighten up. Old enough to made that mistake twice. Okay. And whoops. There went the washer. Fell off. Okay. Boy. A line, a line, a line. There's the hole there. Okay, I got that one started. And now I'm looking to align this last one. Boy. Little glasses removal here. And I don't see the hole anywhere. Ah. I'm going to do the top one first. Now that I found the hole, it needed to be adjusted that way. There we go. Yeah, just a little bit, not hard, or intuitive at least. Okay, so we got all those finger tight. Right now, lift up a little bit, and that one's not quite finger tight yet. Well, it's finger tight, but it doesn't seem to be where I want it. Uh, let's keep going here. Should my guess is I unscrewed them finger tight easy enough, so. So they should finger tight in pretty pretty well. This guy is not. I do have the wrench if necessary. There it goes, just a little bit. Ah, there we go. Now I could have done it finger tight. Just had a little pressure on it from the seat weight itself. Okay. Now on the other side, I still have one over here that I want to get down close. Okay. Now that I have them all in, uh, relatively tight. Let's see if I should tighten them all the way. The bottom one you can't spin all the way around. You have to remove the Allen wrench and bring it back out. 
because it hits the joint a little bit. Otherwise, all right, so I'm assuming that I can tighten them up now. I don't see any reason why not, right? Nothing else is going to go there. Okay, backrest using the Allen wrench. Move skis, pre-install, line the backrest, attach the backrest using the M8 screws. That's number five. Number six, push the backrest on the left side inward to meet the backrest and secure using the M8 screws. Tighten all four screws fully using the Allen key. Attach the side covers with Phillips screws using a Phillips cross head screwdriver. Take care not to over tighten. Remove the reclining strap. Okay, so yes, tighten them all four up, which would have been what we thought. And then we're going to put the cover on. Okay. And then when you get those covers on with the Phillips, and they're in that box right there, then can see how it can't go quite all the way around. Then we can take off the strap, which will let you adjust the chair. So this doesn't look too tough. Looks like you got to put one more piece on the bottom. Make sure you put it on the right direction, I guess. It looks like there's rectangle so there's probably two possible ways one being correct one being wrong but I'm assuming the little diagram there will give me a pick and can figure that out okay so I tightened all those good enough now these guys go on here with the Phillips screw Uh, they are opposite directions, so I'm assuming then that they go like this. One on this side, one on that side, and a Phillips screw goes in there. And the Phillips screws are here. Let's put that through there. Oh, and the Phillips screwdriver is in the box. Okay. Am I in there or not? I have it aligned, but but not threads aren't hitting engaging yet. Double check, make sure that I've got the right Phillips screw. Let's try this. Make sure the Phillips screw goes in the thing nicely on its own, and it does. So it's just a mere question of probably lining it up. And I can't see the hole, so let's use a little cell phone action. Where in the heck is my cell phone? I think my cell phone's still in my bag from when I went to the gym this morning, so let's grab that. Yep. Still in the bag. Alright. So, pull down that, so maybe give myself a little flashlight ouch and I can see if uh, the hole is actually aligned to the hole right ah there I had it pushed down too far 
So there's where that's uh, barely. Well, surely not this one, right? Which way does it go? How do you know which one's left and which one's right? I frankly, doesn't think it makes any difference, but let's take a look and see. Push the bracket on the left side to meet the bracket's backrest, blah, 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 blah. Put the screw on, and the height part goes on the inside. Okay, so that explains that. And that also explains probably why it didn't align. So I did have it the wrong wrong one. And now, now it does align just fine. Yeah, and since it just goes in that little angle bracket, they're telling you to be careful not to over tighten your screw because there's not a lot of depth of thread there. So a couple finger tight shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. All right, now I may need the flashlight for the other side. Probably not. Let's go over there. Do this one. And put that over the inside, and put that in there. Twist to your heart's content. Don't over twist, even if your heart isn't content. All right, so getting close. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me check this guy again. Ooh wee, about to get a cramp. Ah, crap. Good enough. Whoo, hurts. All right, so kill the flashlight. Flashlight off. Put the phone up there. Didn't need to take my mic clip off. Okay, so there's that. Next step is, yeah, I'm following the directions. Sue me. Okay, li attach the full tilt mechanism to the bottom. Wait, where am I at here? Uh, attach the multi-mechanism bottom of the seat belt. Seat. Attach the multi-tilt mechanism. Oh, the, the instructions are on the top. Okay, using the mechanism screws. Push the bracket to the left side, attach the side covers with the Phillips screw, number number nine or eight. Lift the chair and gently set it facing. Okay, take care not to over tighten. Remove the reclining strap. Okay, remove the reclining strap. Now, I get the special time to remove the reclining strap. And they show this little sticker pull here like this. And that looked easy, didn't it? Reality, not so much. At least not following the directions. But okay, so tore that off. Now remove the granny stack. Lift the chair gently. Set it facing downward. If you're assembling on an Omega or a Titan, proceed to step 9A. For thrones, skip to step 9. B. So this picture they show is the this handle's been pulled. They don't actually tell you to lift the handle. Take care not to over tighten. Remove the reclining strap. Lift the chair 
Yeah, and it's definitely at a 90 degree angle. So I think what they're telling me here is, is I can do this. Now, I don't have to worry about it. Flipping over. Okay, and now, gently do this, and then we're gonna get to 9A for the Omega or Titan. Attach the multi-tilt mechanism to the bottom of the seat base using the four M8 screws. Ensure the mechanism is in the correct direction. Proceed to step 10. Okay. Ensure it's in the correct direction. That's nice. Okay, like I said, there's two ways to put this on. One is the correct way, one is the wrong way. All right, and I thought the pictures would be apparent, but maybe not so much. Okay, so the tilt looks like that I have it this way, is the way they've got it. Oh, don't stick your finger in the hole because it's lubricated. But, too late. Yeah, it looks like that's the way it's going. Oh, I see green on the picture, so it gives me a little indicator of where the top is, and it rises towards the back of that. So that means that's the right way. Or it means it's the wrong way, and uh, I'll do it again later. But I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. All right, number one. The objective is to get this put together as quickly as possible. And then set this baby up and see if my back just says, oh, thank you, Lord. Given what we're competing with, I don't think that's going to be too tough. Although, surprisingly, that, that little wooden chair isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, so there we go. There's three. I got one more to go here. Uh, I got plenty of slide room on this. So you don't have to worry about it being too hard to align. Although I am doing it left-handed. And failing miserably. So, switch. There we go. So, same rule applies. Finger tight everything. Giving you room to adjust. one here is a little bit sticky. And it does come with an extra extra screw if needed. This one's a little bit tight here. I shouldn't say tight, a little bit sticky, so okay. So now, everybody's finger tight. I guess I can lock it down, right? Uh, da, 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 da. Ensure the mechanism is in the correct position and do step 10. Line up the grooves inside the lever handles with the notches and insert firmly. Okay, so it doesn't come back tight to tighten them, so that means we're going to tighten them now. Which I don't see why not. Nice big bolts, so they're not cheesy. Now, as long as I've got it in the right direction, which again, I was guessing it looked like it was angling this direction according to that picture, which they don't show that really clear. 
the video I could fire up and watch. I'm sure it shows it. But confident I got it, so the biggie. It's pretty nice that this Plantronics Bluetooth works while I'm messing around. You can't see what I'm doing as far directly goes. If I had my GoPro, or if I had a GoPro, my son has a GoPro. But if I had a GoPro, you could do a headshot on it. I don't know if I could UBS stream from a GoPro live or not. I'd have to stream from the GoPro to the computer and then from computer to the cloud, maybe. My rule. Okay. All right, tightened up there. Proceed to step 10. So I've got, I've got notches on this thing. Right, and I'm assuming some handles go on there. Let's see, in the box have some handles. Handle one, handle two. They look like, they look the same. Right, so ambidextrous, I guess. Either side works. Now, what does it say? Align the notches. Well, the pad paddle could go up or the paddle could go down. It could go front or it could go back. Which is it? Line up the grooves inside the lever handles with the notches and insert firmly. Yeah, they don't show that very good, and it looks like a one-time only. But let's assume the lever goes down, because it went up, it would hit the chair. So I guess that's kind of got it idiot-proof, right? I'm going to see here. There's that. Now, if I went, if I went with this way, it would definitely hit there. So, I see that's depressing the, going to depress the top of the hydraulic button. This one's going to come over here. And they're on there, kind of. And what does it say? Line up the grooves and levers with the notches and insert firmly. <sighs> okay. Seems pretty firm to me. This one here doesn't move readily. This one moves quite readily. Come down, push down. Ah, because the hydraulic's going to hold this way. You have to push down to get the depress the top of the hydraulic button. I'm guessing. Okay, now lift up, lift up the assembled wheelbase, wheelbase, what they call it, and insert hydraulic piston into the socket of the tilt mechanism. into the socket of the tilt mechanism right here. Stick this, lift it up and throw it in there. Carefully tilt the chair upwards while holding the wheel base in position in upright. Congratulations, your chair is assembled. Okay, that's what they're telling me. Uh, looks like then it just sets on the wheel base from what I can tell, just pure gravity. So if you lift up your chair, the bottom might fall off, so don't think you're going to carry it around the room that way. Uh, but that goes in there, and stick it in there like such. Yep, and then rotate that so that you can lift your chair up like this. I still have my little tag on the back telling me about my soft weave. Obviously, you can remove that. And voila! I think we have success. 
on assembly. Now we've got to do a little bit of a little bit of tidy up here. So what needs to be in here? I've got an extra screw which I can keep. I don't really need to keep in this thing, right? Do I need to keep this box? I don't think so, Tim. All right, so throw that there. Throw that here. And there's that. Now I've got an extra screw, an Allen wrench. Put that in the drawer. And clean up. Clean up real fast. Okay. It is not a small chair. Not a small chair for sure. Just going to throw all this out here in the box that it came in. Okay, got that out of the way. There's the pillow. A little bit more stuff. Screwdriver goes away here. Assembly directions can go too. Uh, before we take the assembly directions, we're going to read on how to adjust the seat. And that's on there also. So one last piece of packing material. Whew, man, it's hot out there. Man, it is hot out there. Okay. Now, we get to sit in it. Can't see my smiling face when I sit in it, though, can you? Because the camera's too low. Because all the action's been on the floor. All right. Well, the first sit feels pretty good as far as the cushion on the seat goes. Okay, where is my camera? Now, we can adjust. Move this up a little bit. There I am. Okay, backrest incline. That's the hammer here, so I can do that. Uh, take a little nap during the day. Oh God, that could be tempting. Yep, yep, all right, so there's that. You've got pull the lever fully and lean back slowly until desired angle is achieved, then slowly return the lever back to starting position, and ensure the lever locks back in place, or you may slide backwards. Okay, 40 armrests. Press and hold each button and adjust accordingly. To adjust the angle, simply push the top portion of the armrest in either direction. Okay. To adjust the angle. Okay, so this here, outside, up and down. Button on here. Oh, this button moves left and right. And there looks like a button here. And I assume, yep, it moves it this way. Pretty much detent either in or straight or out. So that's the, that's that. And this can go high, quite high actually. Which, let's see, where does it hit on my desk? Almost flush with my desk. So my desk must be must be relatively high. Uh, okay, so let's adjust the seat up. If I get off the ground, ahoy! Ahoy, matey! Woo! I'm six foot tall. My feet are off the floor. So I can adjust this up, and that could set on top. Yeah, quite nice. Okay, tilt, tilt extension. Let's see, what's that talking about? Turn the knob clockwise to loosen the rocking tension of the chair. Anti-clockwise to tighten according to your weight. Okay, so there's a ball under there that I can twist. Uh, you have to think about clockwise. Which way? Uh, turn the knob clockwise to loosen. Okay, so I'm looking underneath which way is the clock. All right, I guess whichever way it gets looser. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, I don't feel it. I don't feel it rocking at all. All right. I don't know if I want it to rock, frankly. 
Let's see. Not rocking. Turn the knob clockwise to loosen the rocking tension of the chair anti-clockwise to tighten. Adjust according to your weight. A armrest adjustment. The distance between the armrests can be adjusted. Loosen the M8 screws at the bottom of your armrest and move the desired positions, then tighten and secure. Oh, so I can move the whole armrest uh, closer or farther away. It's saying lumbar adjustment. Now this is probably a knob. Right here, I saw it someplace. Here it is, yeah. Turn the knob clockwise to increase the lumbar support, uh, anti-clockwise to decrease. Do not attempt to turn past the maximum and the minimum. Uh, just how do I know I'm there? Trying to feel that in my back, and I can feel something, but honestly, not much. There we go. So it's adjusting right there, well, in your lumbar, which is where it's supposed to be. Okay. So there's that. Multi-tilt mechanism, right lever while seated, pull up to adjust height. Left lever while seated, push down, push down, slash pull up to lock or unlock the tilt mechanism. So that's probably why I couldn't get it to rock because push down slash pull up to lock, push down to lock. Okay, unlock. Oi, now we're rocking like, now we're rocking like no tomorrow. Full tilt mechanism. Right lever while seated, pull up to adjust height, push inwards slash pull outwards to lock, unlock the tilt mechanism. What? So the left side, right lever, full tilt mechanism. Is there some difference between the tilt on the right versus the tilt? Oh, maybe, maybe that's the front tilt, which I don't like. So right lever, pull up to adjust height, push inwards, pull outwards to lock and unlock the tilt mechanism. Push inwards, pull outwards to lock, unlock. Okay, so out is going to be right lever while seated. Push inwards, pull outwards. I don't see that happening. Okay. Pull up to adjust the height. I get that. Push inwards. Pull outwards to lock or unlock the tilt. I don't get it to move at all. Left or in or out. Push. While seated, push, pull, push. Pull up to adjust height. I get that. Let's try this tilt guy over here. Turn off the tilt. Okay, everything but the last thing works. I can't get that thing to move lock in and out. It says, plain as life, right lever while seated up to adjust height. Pull inwards. Pull outwards to lock or untilt the mechanism. Okay, uh, I don't see that working. I don't get it.
there is no pull or push on that thing. Someone's gone crack. At least there isn't one for me. The lock on the other side works fine. I don't know how you're supposed to get that. Maybe that's the other chair that they sell that they told me. Omega or Titan for Throne. Maybe the Throne has that. Mine is a Titan. Let's see. Full tilt mechanism doesn't say. I just told you I don't like the daggone thing rocking forward anyways, and that's the only thing I can imagine it doing. Rocking backward isn't bad, and that's easy enough. And now I can change the change the resistance on that, push my arms up. Okay. Oh, look at that. Now, where's the most important asset? Let's try that pillow out. Let's see. Okay, we're almost done with the secret labs. Oh, this pillow's got a little strap around it so it can go right around, but I'm just going to go straight for the neck. Ah. Uh, well, let's try out that Let's try out this. Oi. Whoo. See you tomorrow. Okay. Well, not tomorrow. I'll see you on Wednesday when uh, we stream and do some real code. Hopefully, we're going to get that console component to work. I got a little bug, but maybe I'll find somebody to help me out with that. Okay, everybody. Thanks. There we go. OBS is done. Or not OBS. OBS is a streaming tool. Secret Labs. Secret Labs. Um, Titan. Soft. What is it called? Soft Seam. And then uh, Cookies and Cream. Yeah. So far, I like it. I like it. Feels good. Uh, we'll see. Give it a couple uh, months of coding. All right, get up here and code away. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I'm going to have to raise up the seat a little bit. Find my right coding height. Elbows are pretty good, so I can relax the arm and move the mouse. Looks pretty good. All right, everybody, thanks.